Hurricane Gorilla caused quite a stir outside provincial court today. Onlookers could hardly believe their eyes. And as Global Sky Ryan reports, that stunned reaction by motorists is just what sent the Gorilla's employer to court. Regina's provincial court fills up every day with people trying to get the monkey off their back. But today, he was meeting them at the door. Oh, that was pretty cool. I don't know. It's not, you don't see that every day. This grinning gorilla is appearing outside court to support the case of his employer, the Hilly Billy Vac Shack. The owner has been charged with distracting traffic with his unconventional advertising. Uh, basically, it uh, allows people to, to know where we are, to see, to see us. It's like the really bright lights, and it's like really distracting. The heart of the case is a pulsating strobe light shining towards Arcola Avenue. Drivers complained to police the Hilly Billy Vac Shack had become a dangerous eyesore. The police agreed, charging the owner under the Highway Traffic Act. There was concern that the lights could be distracting enough to cause a collision. And the lights well, are yeah, all distracting. Drive... Amber Snow says the waving gorilla and flashing lights contributed to her boyfriend crashing his car. It's my boyfriend that got in the accident, so. And he literally said what? Uh, he was pretty mad at that monkey and he just doesn't <laughs> like him. Joe Dupree says that's not the effect he was hoping his advertising would have. He thought the Hillbilly Vac Shack was a hit and never believed it was driving motorists to hit each other. Just in the past month, we've had a deluge of complaints about anything, really. It'll be a circus again at Provincial Court on June 4th. That's when the case against the Hillbilly Vac Shack goes to trial. In Regina, I'm Global Sky Ryan reporting. The maximum fine the Hilly Billy Vac Shack faces is $130, but the store's owner says it's the principal behind the charge he's standing up for, claiming his advertising is an expression and he shouldn't be punished for that.